So God is our father. We are the child. And as a child, we are ready or capable of in our soul to be able to give up everything, even our life for him. So God is more dear than life itself as it comes out, as the metaphor of the child who is ready to put themselves into harm's way. You know, his parents are captive and he wants to save his parents. So the son puts himself in harm's way. Doesn't matter what's going to happen to him. He's got to release his parents from captivity, is the metaphor. Now, that kind of love that Moshe Rabbeinu did have for God, that we can have that it is, might be latent in our soul by him who was very much revealed, even though it might appear as an illusion, but the truth is, it is the love of God that is the very nature of the soul. So therefore, we don't have to worry about deluding ourselves and thinking, oh, I love God to such a, to such a manner, such a way. No. You don't have to be concerned with that, that it's not being honest, because it, it is the absolute truth of the hidden love that is the soul possesses towards God. It is. And what's most important is that this love, and God is more important than life itself, as a child, for the love for a parent, for parents is in such a way, or at least it can be metaphorically, that's what it is. Um, what's most important that needs to translate into action. So even though we may not um, be so, uh, what's the word, e enam, so much feeling this sense of that I am, you know, ready to sacrifice my life for my relationship, my connection to God. But the most important thing is the mindfulness of this, that it brings us to action. And what is that action? That we occupy ourselves as we're doing right now in the study of Torah and the doing of mitzvahs. That we do it by revealing this love with this intention. And what is then cause, what, what, what will this then be our intention? What is the intention that you're ready, that, that God is more important than you? Is that by human terms, what's most important is that you have gratification in life. So here it will be that you're causing God gratification. You're doing it for God's sake. Uh, James, please stop. Um, putting things of nonsense on the uh, the comments. We don't want to have to remove you. So, this is the this is the 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 intent over here. What is it about a child that they want to do for their parents? Is to cause them the gratification that it's more important that they get gratification from the actions that they do than rather than they are getting the gratification. Now you might say, well, hmm, is that deluding myself? Is that really, is that really in my heart? So we learned previously in the Altered Ebbe quotes again, the Malshavah Teva, Kodesh Baruch Hu, for Lamaisa, that a good thought, that if you think this, this idea, God will join it to your actions. And give it wings that it will fly. Ah, you're not really feeling it? Is it really that you're doing this now, studying Tanya to cause God gratification rather than having your own gratification from it? Whatever, and it might be wonderful gratification, by the way. It might be wonderful things that you want to, you know, be get closer to God and do more good and so on. But that's not the idea of that God is more dear to us than ourselves. The greatest thing that we can do for ourselves is gratify ourselves. 
Well, the metaphor of the child, of the son, who puts himself in harm like to save his parents from a difficult situation, putting himself in harm's length, harm's way. Because more important is parents than him. So what's more important for us in God? That we cause him the gratification. This is the metaphor that we used previously in chapters 31 and 30 and 41, that the joy of the king of whose son returns him after being liberated from captivity. Right? The son is in captivity. Oh, think, oh, my father's going to be so happy that I'm out of prison. What do you mean? Aren't you happy? But more important to him is his father's joy, the king, than his own joy. Now, you might say, hey, that's something way beyond where I'm holding. What we need to do is think this, meditate upon this, habituate ourselves in saying it, verbalizing it. And by doing so, even though I don't really feel it, it's going to bring me to action. It's going to mean that now I'm going to learn Tanya differently. I'm going to do a mitzvah differently as a result. So I can cause gratification to God Almighty. Even with regard to the category of the previous form of love, that God is my very soul, my very being, my very life, can also be done in order that um, re- revealing that which is in our heart to occupy ourselves in Torah mitzvahs for its own sake. In other words, not for my own gratification of having life, but in order to um, cause that gratification for God Almighty. Powerful ideas that we can have in our lives of Like Hashem loves us because we are from Him and He does not love us like that it would be hurt if not loved back. Because it would denote kind of slight disrespectful, right? So it does love us from kindness. So here it's not talking about... Um, we're not talking about God's love towards us here. We're talking about our love towards God. And what does that mean? What is our love towards God? So does it come from chesed? Yes. Chesed is the way it expresses itself. Um, all love, yes, comes from chesed, from kindness, from in our soul, which is propelled by love. Absolutely. So this is what we have the capacity. This is a phenomenal when you think about it. That we are ready to do for God more than we are ready to do for ourselves. Ah, we may not feel that. We may not feel that. That's okay. Let's think it. Let's say that. May Hashem have um, nachas from what I'm doing. May Hashem have pleasure from what I'm doing. Or if Chassidim, they say about a Rebbe, may the Rebbe have nachas from the things that we do. Uh-huh. Aaron, I'm further in Tanya, uh, I guess. Yeah. Okay. No, this has nothing to do with um, family, dysfunctional family, or whatever. Um, uh, Chiana, this is about our love towards God. That's what we're talking about. And, I mean, are you talking about the son or the child who has, you know, such love for parents more than, you know, yeah, that's the metaphor. Um, how does that apply to our uh, children? <laughs> or to us as children, to our parents? Yeah, that's a good question. A very valid question. 
I'm Rabbi Ronnie Fine, coming to you from Chabad Zuchin Kadesh in Montreal, Canada. It's a privilege and a pleasure to share with you the Tanya. There'll be Rambam today at 1. I, I don't know exactly what time I'm going to be doing the uh, my weekly class it, because of a wedding that I have. It'll probably be more likely around 7 o'clock, something like that, 7, 7.15 or something like that. Well, I'll keep you posted. Uh, keep flexible. <laughs> Have a wonderful day, a good vach, and a good chodesh, everybody. God bless you all.